The Fujian, new China's largest aircraft carrier ever. The Fujian, the People's Liberation Army Navy, plan, is currently the largest naval force in the world, and after the United States will soon have the largest aircraft carrier force as well. On Friday, it launched its third and most advanced aircraft carrier at the Jiangnan Shipyard in Shanghai. Named Fujian, Type 003, the 80,000-ton vessel is also China's first domestically designed and built catapult-equipped carrier. The Type 003 carrier left its dry dock following a launch ceremony and is now tied up at a nearby pier. The launch has been seen as a major milestone for the plan, which will allow it to extend its range and capabilities. The Fujian is believed to rival many Western carriers, especially as it utilizes an electromagnetic catapult system instead of a ski jump style flight deck to launch aircraft. That will allow Beijing to employ more. Fujian, what's in a name? The naming of the Type 003 could be especially notable and even important of its future role in the plan. As CNN reported on Friday, China has named its past aircraft carriers after its coastal provinces, with Liaoning in the northeast and Shandong in the east. Fujian, in the southeast, is also the closest province to Taiwan, separated by a strait that is fewer than 80 miles, 128 kilometers, wide at its narrowest point. The Chinese Communist Party, CCP, continues to maintain sovereignty over the self-ruling island of Taiwan, despite the fact that the People's Republic of China never actually ruled the island. Yet, Beijing considers the island to be a breakaway province that will be returned to mainland control, and by force if necessary. Aircraft carriers would be crucial to such forceful efforts. The fact that the Type 003 is named Fujian clearly indicates Chinese leader Xi Jinping's desire to accomplish reunification. The ship will still require years of additional construction to be completed, followed by extensive sea trials, yet its launch sends the message, China is coming, not only to Taiwan but to other regional powers as well as the United States.